shuffling back into the classroom. But these students aren't quite as reluctant as you'd expect. They're being taught esports, competitive video gaming. It's a booming industry, especially in China, the world's biggest video game market. This isn't mindless button bashing, it's potentially a career. They live, breathe and eat video games here at this technical college in Jinan, eastern China. Hey, Ni hao, Jen. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, guys. Hey, what's your And Tom? they sleep them too. Nice Welcome to the dorm. That dedication is largely down to a surprising benefactor, the Chinese Communist Party. The CCP officially added esports to the national curriculum and started offering scholarships. Why? Well, it spied an opportunity for China to dominate competitively and for its gaming companies to thrive. But this is also a tale of how the best intentions of an authoritarian regime can have unintended consequences. I died from falling. I'm not doing very well at this, but it is very competitive. Not so long ago, the Chinese government picked esports as a winner, put lots of resources behind it. But now it's having second thought. It's changing the rules of the game as it goes along. The reason is what the government's zeal for video games has been doing to China's eyes. Myopia, short or nearsightedness, is on the rise among young people. By 2020, half the population of China will have myopia. That's around 700 million people. Mei Yu Xuan and Li Xin Yu are seven years old, best friends, and visiting a Beijing hospital for a regular eye test. On this visit, though, Xin Yu is diagnosed with myopia. It is becoming an epidemic here. This is a technique from traditional Chinese medicine to improve eyesight. But the government is taking more dramatic action. They've frozen approvals for new video games and are using national ID cards to limit children's screen time. That had another unforeseen effect, though. It wiped billions of China's video gaming companies. Even an unelected regime struggles to be far-sighted. Tom Cheshire, Sky News in Jinan, Eastern China.